OK, so this video is going to show you how you can create a folder on your iPhone or iPad running iOS 17. This may work on other iOSs too. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say today, we're going to show you how you can create a folder in your files on your iPhone or iPad running iOS 17. So first things first, we need to find the files app. So let's just I'm just going to scroll right across to the right hand side. That's by swiping to the left. Then you should see this app library, which shows you all of your apps that are installed on your iPhone or your iPad. And what you're looking for is this blue and white icon there, the blue folder. Now, if you can't find it, then tap just up by the magnifying glass, just up there and just type files. OK, and then after a few seconds, you should see the white background with the blue folder appear. Tap on that. And OK, what we're going to do is we're just going to tap the little icon in the top left hand corner of the screen, those two little boxes there. And here we can select where we want to create our folder, whether it be on the iCloud drive. So it's available on all devices or just on your iPhone or your iPad. So at the moment, I'm just going to save this on my iPad. So I'm going to tap on my iPad. OK, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap the folder at the top of the screen, the one with the plus in the top right hand corner of the folder. So tap that. That gives you untitled folder there. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm now going to give it a name. So this name is applicable to what I'm storing in it. So I'm just going to put I'm just going to call it scans because it's a scanned document that I want to save in it. So scans, let's just call it scans. Then I'm going to press the blue return key on the keyboard. And then, OK, so here I've got my folder. I've got my folder here and I've got my file, which is called scan document. Now I want to move it into that folder. So all I do is I just press and hold on the file called scanned document. And then I've got an option there come up that says move. So once that option menu appears, I forgot to say let go of the, the, uh, uh, the document, tap move. And it's going to ask where do I want to move it to? So I'm going to tap scans. OK, and then I'm going to tap move in the top right hand corner. And that has now moved that file into the folder called scan. So if I tap scans there, there you go. I've got scanned documents in it and I can just tap on it and open that up. But what if I want to move it out of that folder? So again, I just go into the folder. So let's just go back to the beginning. I go back to on my iPad, go to scan. So tap on that, tap and hold scanned document, tap move from the menu that appears and then just tap on my iPad or iCloud drive and then tap move in the top right hand corner. The scans folder is now empty, so let's just tap on the folder in the top left hand corner and then tap on my iPad and there you go. The scan document has come out of it. Now, what if I want to delete that folder? So what I, all I need to do is just tap and hold on the folder until that menu appears, then let go. And then I've got delete at the bottom there. Now, again, now please make sure that the folder is empty before you delete it, because if you do delete a folder, it will delete the whole contents of the folder too. So do just go into it and make sure there's nothing in there that's important. Obviously, if you want to delete any the whole folder and its contents, then yep, you can do it. But, um, but please make sure there's nothing important in there. So I'm just going to go back to on my iPad, tap and hold the scans folder till that appears and then tap delete. And there you go. It's gone. Now, what if I've deleted it and then suddenly realized I want it back? What I can do is I can tap that little box or the two little boxes in the left hand corner of the screen, the top left hand corner. And there I've got recently deleted. So I can tap recently deleted. And there you go. I've got two folders I've recently deleted. One is called documents. One is called scans. If I want to get the scans folder back, all I do is I just tap and hold the scans folder until this menu appears. And then I've got an option here to recover. So I can just tap recover. And there you go. That's disappeared from recently deleted. But if I tap the icon in the top left hand corner and then go back to on my iPad, there you go. Scans has reappeared. Now, let's, if I go back into recently deleted now, say, for instance, I wanted to delete it 
permanently. I want to delete this documents folder permanently so it can't be recovered. Again, I just tap and hold on it until this menu comes up, then let go and then tap the red delete now. And there you go, it says, are you sure you want to delete documents? This item will be deleted immediately. You can't undo this action. So once you've tapped delete, that's it. There's no reverse in it. You cannot get this back. So I'm going to tap delete. I'm happy with that. And there you go. That and its contents have now gone for good if there was anything in there. And I won't be able to get that back. So there you go. I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you want to have a look through my Amazon shop or you're looking for a VPN, Fire TV stick, Fire TV cube or Fire Stick accessories, then please have a look in the links down below. We've got loads of links down there for you. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to spend more time to research and bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if whilst you're looking through my videos, you see something that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. If you want to check me out on X, formerly known as Twitter, I'm at CWTEK. Or if you want to have a look at my website, it's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching and speak to you again soon.